Ohayou gozaimasu. So I thought I'd show you guys how I make my coffees in the morning. Judy likes a macchiato. I'm gonna make a, I don't know what you call this. It's like a half latte, so it's just a latte with half the milk. This is my favorite coffee bean. It's from Seattle, Espresso Vivace. If you're in town, you have to go here, along with Starbucks, of course. Anyways, uh, this is the Breville Oracle Touch. I love these espresso machines. This one's very automated. Uh, I thought it would bring you step by step through the whole process, showing you what I like to make every morning, as well as what I like making Judy, what she likes to drink. What kind of coffee is your favorite coffee in the comments below? Okay, so uh, got the beans. These are freshly roasted. It makes a huge difference when you got freshly roasted coffee. I've got the sugar. I just put enough to take the edge off and I use a maple brown sugar, or it's like a maple sugar that's powdered. It smells really good. And I got my cups. One thing I like to do is, I like to heat up my cup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run some water. I like to run it through the uh, head. As you can see, this machine is tucked right underneath this cabinet, which I love, but it's a little bit low and this is made to slide in and out, so that is nice. To fill up your coffee hopper, I don't do it every time, I just do it once in a while. There's a little thing, look. Comes out, get your coffee. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. All right, got my coffee beans. So the thing about freshly roasted, the flavor and how it brews is gonna be completely different. So if you're using old beans, you're gonna get old flavors. New beans, fresh flavors. So then all you do, see there's this little locking mechanism, but I put it in underneath it. I've been doing this for the last year since I got this machine. Love it. Put the cover back on. So even if you have a low cabinet, no problem, because there is a space behind this. This is just for looks. All right, so there's two ways you can grind here. This is an automatic grinder. It takes coffee from the hopper, grinds it, and it even tamps it, meaning you don't have to use this thing. I still use it because I do like to tamp it a little bit more. You can either turn the lever or press a button. So I'm just gonna turn the lever. There you go. This does a pretty incredible job. I do like to brush off any excess. And then what I do is I, there's some little untamped stuff, but I've tested this out, I've weighed it, and it was really impressive. I do temp it, or temp it, tamp it one more time, just a little bit. Put it in. So now that this is nice and warmed up, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it to the other cup. Let that start warming up with the same water. Always have a towel ready. I'm gonna put a link to everything I'm using, including the uh, espresso machine, but this is a scale, because it's important to weigh your coffee. Even when there's automatic settings on here, coffee is very organic. It's always different, even if it's from the same company. So I always weigh my coffee. All right, it's zeroed out. I do it on manual because I'm watching the weight of the espresso coming out, and I'm gonna stop it right when it hits that, or maybe just before it. Let me show you how drippy and syrupy this espresso shot is. That's nice, that's what you want right there. Almost looks like hot cocoa, like a really thick hot cocoa. And it's getting right there, so I'm gonna stop it. Boom, bam. So I bought one of these, also from Breville, where you can put your pucks the professionals. I do compost my pucks sometimes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back over here and I'm gonna get more coffee. I also like to run the uh, this just to get some sediment off because sometimes some coffee can be on there. I know, I don't know if that's a flaw or if that's normal, but I do, I do wipe it off. I forgot the maple sugar. So I'm gonna put a little bit in there just to take the edge off. At this point, I am about ready to steam the milk. Put it on. Zero it out. Go get the milk now. 
Another thing about this machine is it steams milk perfectly. I like to run it first. It knows exact temperature too. There's a like a thermometer at the end. Bam! Now we wait. I'm gonna go ahead and start making Judy's espresso. So this knows the exact temperature based off of the end of the probe, which is pretty cool. Or the steaming wand. So it stops exactly where I have it set. Right now I've got it set to 142, which is hotter than I want it. Or it's, it's not as hot as I normally want it, but this is Judy's settings. All right, coffee's done. I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side. There we go. I won't be able to do that much of a, there we go. Kind of a sad little heart for her macchiato. For mine, I'll be able to do it a little bit more, I think. Oh my gosh. Mmm. When you have really good espresso, fresh beans, mmm. It's like hot chocolate, it really is. My dad, he likes to drip coffee, which I also like drip coffee too. Yeah. Drip coffee is totally underrated. This machine costs 20 bucks and it, <laughs> it does perfectly fine. Yeah. What, hey, what kind of coffee are you using, Dad? Uh, I got this uh, espresso. Uh, espresso uh, roast? Yeah. Oh, wow. You got the espresso that, that, roast that, for the yeah, drip coffee? Yeah, dark roast. Yeah. yeah. We like Starbucks here, too. Anyways, you guys, let me know what's your favorite coffee drink. What's your preferred go-to caffeine? Mine is this. What's the name of this? This is in between a macchiato and a latte. Cortado? 